back he's at it again with his slightly luminescent hive tyrant sparkling up our screens it's going to be facing off against the plague champion of novice who is fittingly a novice looking very cool with the cogs of vashtor skin here Only one heretic, eh? I wonder if he knows that he's fighting a Hive Tyrant. Double CSM's pretty common against the HT. Pretty common. Not super common, but pretty common. I think both are legitimate. Any other Tyranid hero, you definitely want double heretic against. If you're the Plague Champion, you've, you've got more leeway. Because you've got that extra little bit of focus fire early on. I like the fast reaction from Sparky to get the other termers out. Doesn't want to bleed them. That said, he, you know, with a Hive Tyrant and double termers, he should be able to win this fight against a Tick and a PC quite easy. Hive Tyrant just goes in, ties up the PC and the termers pew pew, and you're good to go. Ah, uh, he's not watching. He's not watching his half turn. He'll gobble up a few heretics, but then he'll have to leave, and he's got to remember to leave earlier than he normally would because of the damage over time from the Plague Champion. Yeah, that's alright. Almost should just kill these ticks. Nom 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 nom. Silly heretics. Yep, they're gone. And the CSM and the Hormers here just evaded one another. So a double Hormer, double Terma. That's a pretty decent build for the Hive Tyrant. Yeah, and it is going to be double CSM. You're going to have to get another Heretic Squad, give it the AC. But a Havoc in the meantime would also be okay. And what is? I would go for the, the Raveners, to be honest, and then get improved Synapse. The Raveners would cover you in case a Havoc comes out quite fast. And then you get nice synergy with your Hive Tyrant, because Improved Synapse buffs the Raveners and all the Gaunts. So Chaos is going to have a bit of trouble here dealing with the sheer speed and quantity of capping power that the Tyranids have. They're going to have to blob quite a lot in this sort of section of the map. Here and here. That's where the unit should be the majority of the time. And just get to tier 2. And then things can change in tier 2 when they get their Zinch Chaos Space Marine online. This guy can turn into a one-man army with the Power Fist, the Armor of Pestilence and the Icon of Nurgle. Then you get some Chosen Plague Marines. You get some Chaos Dreadnoughts which can heal with Nurgle Worship. Yeah. That'll be good, but for now, as you can see, the Chaos units are isolated, and they just get ran over by melee. So it's a problem. No gens either. I don't know why. What's he waiting for? Does he want raptors? No. Going raptors against this would be suicide. Against a Hive Tyrant, double armors and warriors? But he's not getting anything, so I'm not really sure what he wants, to be honest. I suspect that Novice doesn't know himself what he should be going for. He definitely should be replacing the- oh god, he's going Raptors. I thought so, when he wasn't dropping the gens, he had enough requisition to get anything else. But yeah, that's- that's very stupid. This is stupid as well, Homer's engaging way too early there. You want the Warriors to go in first because they're heavy infantry? So they don't take anywhere near as much damage from the bolters. They knock the enemy over. And then the homers run in. The homers are the DPS. So he should have pulled those homers back a bit. While the warriors were running in. When the CSM turned to shoot the warriors. Then the homers can come back in. But yeah CSM quite robust. Warriors themselves not that high in damage. They do manage to kill a marine there. But lose a warrior model themselves for it. Oh, that's a nice wrap to jump.
the other homogons too busy idling over there. So, Termagants right now not really very effective because everything's heavy infantry except the Plague Champion. So their main purpose is to focus down the Plague Champion. Wow, is he really going double Raptors? Holy shit. Sparky's trying to win this game in tier 1, boys. He is trying to win in tier 1. This is a big army. Six unit tier 1. Nice. But these homers going to have to get out of there. They're going to be bleeding a lot. They can't commit to fighting the CSM when Raptors are nearby. I mean, all this melee should absolutely stomp the raptors, it really should. Obviously the raptors' main purpose here will be jumping onto termagants. Wow, that was an unnecessary retreat. God. I mean, you know the vast majority of their forces are here. If the raptors get the jump on an isolated homogon squad, they'll, they'll definitely win. I mean, they probably don't even need to get the jump. They can probably just A move into a Homogon squad and win quite easy. So it's not terrible, but in general, they should get shut down pretty hard. And just, the Tyranids should win in melee. Yeah, this is bold. Uh, there's no Homers, so that's a thing. But even without the Hormers, man, holy crap, look at the damage from the Hive Tyrant of the Warriors. Second Warrior jumps in. That's a dead Raptor. And look at the damage they inflicted. Like, it's just negligible to the actual strength of this force. Okay, they did get chip on this Warrior and they did kill models off the Terma. Is it worth it, though, for losing a Raptor? No. And they still ultimately have been soundly defeated. And they can't even win against the these Tyranids in another fight. So, yeah, this is the problem with the Raptors. He needs to have something to protect this blob. This blob can go forward and poke at the nids and do a lot of really good damage. But then they just charge you in melee or they have like a barb strangler warrior brood and it'll shut you down. But if you had a havoc back here, it would, you know, layering your CSM to protect them from the melee rush, you'd be good. But he doesn't. And so the warriors just move forward and the CSM are routed. I mean, it's a bit of an overcommitment because he's so close to the enemy's base here, is Sparky, but still. Didn't have to retreat both of the Termas there. Could have put some pressure on that Plague Champion. Hormers over here doing their thing. And Sparky, in spite of the 6 unit tier 1, is going to get to tier 2 first, which is kind of bonkers. The funny thing is, he's behind on VPs, though. Not for long at this rate. It's going to be a triple cap against Mr. Novice. No war gear on either hero. I wonder what this tier 2 choice is going to be for Sparky. Certainly, these units that Novice has are going to scale very well into tier 2. But so will the Warrior Brood, though. If they go for Adrenal Glands. But yeah, double Zinch, Curse Space Marines, even one uh, Zinch and one Marker Khan could be pretty good. Gotta turn this guy into the one-man army, I think. And uh, Curse Dreadnought would be pretty good, I'm sure. Especially since you've got Raptors, they could jump on any Venom Brood that comes in. Then you get the one-man army, Plague Champion. And they can run into a Venom Brood, tie it up while the Sea Dread does some good damage with its auto cannon. You got one Farak Swarm, one Adrenal Gland, Warrior Brood. Just looking at the difference in HP there between the Farak Swarm and the Adrenal Gland, it is pretty huge. What's the, uh, the buff? 20% on Farak Swarm. 65% on Adrenal Gland, wow. Yeah.
Wow, Spacky really is just spamming melee right now. That is literally his game plan. I don't know what Novice is doing. Okay, he got one mark of Zinch and he's got one out. He's going for armor of pestilence now. He, in general, he just needs more shit. That's what Novice needs. He is so dramatically outnumbered. And I know it's fitting when the Tyranids are dramatically outnumbering you, but for God's sake, this is ridiculous. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I mean, we're seeing it over and over, aren't we? Just the melee rush can't be stopped. There's too much durability on these warriors. There's too many nids. And he needs better tools to deal with that. And he's chosen Plague Marines. He needed a Havoc in Tier 1 to zone them out. He needs to get the Power Fist. Not the Plague Sword. Forget the bloody Plague Sword. I mean, it's alright. It's fine, I guess. To be honest, it probably does do more damage than the Power Fist a lot of the time. I'm not sure. They should probably run some numbers on that thing. It's so it's 50 power melee DPS, but it ignores melee resist. I don't remember what the DPS is on the power fist. Is it about 80? So 80 DPS power fist would only do 60% damage. So it would actually only be rocking 48 dps yeah which would be inferior to 50 dps and this thing has power melee so maybe the maybe the plague sword is actually better than the power fist against nids the only disadvantage there is that you can't kill tyrant guard that goes into shield wall the other advantage of the power fist is the ability on it which does the aoe stun which has particular synergy with the icon of noble which does damage over time when you're near the pc so if he stuns you in place, what the hell was that over there? Weird light, lighting effect. If he stuns you in place for a duration and you're taking damage over time throughout that period, it's a nice little synergy. Got a blood crusher. I'm not sure what that's going to do. There's no melee resist in a blood crusher. These guys doing heavy melee will pull it to pieces and there's just too much damage, I think, in general. I mean, he doesn't have a heretic. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem for the Blood Crusher when there's no Heretic. Can't heal. Well, I mean, it, ca it can't heal in combat easily. You can still repair it with a Plague Champion. Let's see how much this Plague Sword does to the Hive Tyrant then. Yeah, it's nice chunks. Nice chunks out of the tankiest tier 1 hero in the game. But look at this man again, the Zinch Marines aren't even getting the opportunity to fire. Okay, now they are. Wait, what the fuck was that? Sparky! He just sees the Blood Crusher alongside Raptors which don't even have their Aspiring Champion nearby and he just all X's. What the fuck? Well, it technically wasn't an all X because the Gene Steelers didn't retreat. But still, that is so unnecessary. He could have easily won that fight. The Hormers definitely should not have turned around to fight the Raptors. They should have just individually gone onto the the CSM and shut them up. With their adrenal glands, I'm sure they would easily win that fight. Look at these sneaky little gene stealers. They've got their rending talons, so they are heavy melee. So I'm a bit concerned for the Blood Crusher right now. Let's see how fast this thing melts. Oh my god, yep. It's got no melee resist, remember? It does a roar there to try and dissuade them. And it does. They retreat. Obviously no synapse for these guys. Okay. Do we have the icon of Nurgle? I don't see it. No, he's gone for Mucus. No, shit. That is literally the worst choice he could have gone for. Why the heck is there a Venom Cannon right now? Just to counter a stupid Blood Crusher that you can kill in melee with power melee. I mean, these... Can you imagine the damage from the icon of Nurgle right now? Constantly hitting all these guys. Oh, God, it'd be so good. You get so much XP on your Plague Champ be mental 
But he's gone for mucus discharge to heal the raptors, which have done nothing. Look, man, I know you might think you need more melee because the Tyranids are scary in melee, but honestly, just don't. You don't even want to fight them in melee. It's just not a good idea. Chosen Plague Marines and Bloodletters are the best option for it. Chosen Plague Marines are amazing. Con Marines can help, but they need support. They can't be on their own. Now he goes for the Heretic. But Sparky's tier 3, so Sparky's going to be able to get a Hive Tyrant out. Not Hive Tyrant, bloody hell, a can fix. I'm just looking at the Hive Tyrant and I'm so shocked about the Venom Cannon. It's just totally unnecessary. He could have got the Crushing Claws. Turned the Hive Tyrant into a mini can fix. That would have been perfectly fine. Wow, that special attack. Come on, novice, you've got a micro. Oh, a bioplasma. Fucking hell, that was random. I did not expect that. I didn't even realise he'd bought that. Very random. And the bonded exoskeleton for durability, which he hasn't used. The invulnerability. Neurothrope. Okay. I mean, I think I'd have just gone for a lictor, to be honest. Like, this army of Sparkies is so superior to novices, it is unbelievable. The raptors just got fucking annihilated. There is a noxious cloud that's been called down here on top of the plague champion who did go down. It doesn't even get the homers, man. Fucking hell. Yeah. I mean, novice is just completely screwed. They are tier 3. But what they're going to do, I'm not sure. There is a Neurothrop now on the field. Which will be able to counter any Terminators that come. You already have the Venom Cannon present for a tank. And a bit of melee with the Gene Stealers that are hiding in here. I mean, the size of Sparky's army right now is absolutely ridiculous. He's got... Six units plus Gene Stealers plus Neurothrop. He's got seven... He's got eight units plus the Hive Tyrant. Versus four the Novice. Christ. Double termers just should be focusing on the Plague Champion the entire time. These Mark of Zinch have done nothing. They're in the wrong spots all the time. And they just, they get isolated and then they just get jumped on. So, it's not very effective. Warriors need to just jump on this blood pressure. They've got the uh, Electro... Shock Grub as well. Oh, they got knocked over by the Blood Crusher charge. Hive Tyrant should just force melee, chase down this Blood Crusher. What's he doing? No, no. The Bioplasma on the Hive Tyrant is anti infantry only. It is a bit confusing. The Bioplasma on the Venom Cannon can effects does really good AV damage, but on the, on the Hive Tyrant it's only anti infantry. Don't ask why. Because I don't know! It is a bit confusing, that, I suppose. Hmm. I wonder if we can call it a different thing on the, the Venom Cannon can effects. Because that was a good skill shot. He hit it beautifully while it was moving. Fortunately, that doesn't do well with this one. A <laughs> land raid of four boss. Uh, would you go a Land Raider Phobos here, or would you go a Guo? I think a Guo would... Oh no, there's a Neuro for a Pangean Steel this year, you probably don't go Guo. You have to go Phobos, because of that Neuro. That paroxysm that we see right now, dropped in the CSM, does percentage-based damage. Oh god, that Bioplasma hurt. Fucking hell. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, the Blood Crusher charged, killed his own CSM. He was trying to save them from the melee and he charged through and killed his own boys. Fuck me. These heretics are dumb, yo. They're dumb. These are dumb heretics. And this is what you get when you join the Dark Gods. 
Nah, not really. It's only what you get when you worship Nurgle. They're not known for their intelligence, them Nurgle lads. If you worship Slanesh, you'll be all good. You'll be perfect. Trust me. Novice has got a Land Raider Phobos. Somehow, in spite of this map control dominance, Sparky never did bash the generators of Novice, and so he has a Land Raider Phobos. Some good initial hits there on the Hive Tarrant. Chunking him down. Heretics need to stay way back because they are going to be needed for repairs here. Now, the beautiful thing with the Phobos is your annoying percentage based damage there on the Neurophrobe isn't going to be a problem because it's psychic damage, which doesn't hurt vehicles. Not a lot, anyway. Tyrant Guard in tier 3. Does Sparky even have the pop? No, I don't think he does. I don't, he hasn't got the pop for a Carn Effects. That's so funny. He's got too many gaunts. But the Hormus should just be constantly pressuring down here. There's nothing to stop him. There's only one CSM squad. How are they going to deal with double Hormus? As you can see, not very well. You could have like one warrior guarding over here. To stop side capping. If the gene stealers can get into melee with a Phobos, they will tear it to pieces. Especially if they're in melee synapse as well. Yeah, not not um in melee, melee synapse. Melee synapse does not increase melee damage. It's only melee skill and health. Fair enough. But yeah, it makes it more durable at least. A lot more durable. Ooh, a turret behind the floor boss. I like that play. But the turret isn't suppressing. It's taking so long. And the hive turret is just gonna slay the blood crusher. But the Zinch Marines focusing on the warriors right there. We also have CPM. Chosen Plague Marines. Where is the Plague Champion himself? Is he inside the Phobos? Oh my god, he needs to get out. Oh uh, yeah, it's just getting it's getting ripped apart in melee. Dream Stealer's got forced off, but the Warrior's still in play, the Tyrant Guard, chop, chop, chop in, and nothing was dealing with the high tyrant. The Plague Champion should have ran over and tied him up in melee. Man, this... Oh, the turret's not in the right direction. Oh, for fuck's sake. Man, the Plague Champion turret sucks. It just does no damage. It's really good with the last cannon. But yeah, the, the heavy bolt version is really crap. They were fighting right in its face. Yeah, now the Plague Champion's gonna die, but he might... Oh, wow. Didn't even claim the Hive Tyrant. CPM should grab him, though. Yeah, but there's still... The Nero in play, draining this guy's energy right now. Tyrant Guard's gotta be careful, but it can go into the shield wall. Yeah, these guys only do power melee and piercing damage on the... ...the ability the damage over time. Homers, what are you doing? <laughs> Go after the CSM. Homers. They're gonna get hurt by the blast, yeah. I was gonna say... Wow, and then there's like a noxious cloud too. What on earth? But you've seen how effective the CPM are. If he got them in tier 2, he would have been in such a better situation. If he had a Havoc from tier 1 instead of Raptors... And he got CPM out. He could have definitely held off all this melee. And honestly, the PC did fine with the Plague Sword. That was alright. Mucus Discharge is pointless, though. Definitely should have had Icon of Nurgle. And I don't even know. He should be just getting a Predator, I think. Or Terminators. He could go Terminators. Lightning Claw Terminators. 
I mean, you know, ultimately, whatever novice gets right now, he's kind of screwed because he's so far behind. What you don't get, though, is you don't get a great and clean one. With Gene Steelers, a Hive Tarrant, and a Neuro throw up, a great and clean one would be terrible. Because the great and clean one's super heavy infantry, so the percentage damage from the Neuro throw up would be pretty brutal against it. I mean, that would also be good against Terminators, but at least Terminators can teleport, I guess. It's a problem. Yeah, the Neurothrope is very strong. It's going for a Predator. That's fine, I guess. But... I don't know how he's going to deal with a Hive Tyrant. He's got nothing to tie it up in melee, really. I mean, you know, he's got PC and CPM, but he's just got too few units, you know? So here's the Predator. No AV here right now. Well, the Tyrant Guard is here. Needs to charge the Pred. Going up to Zeech Marines right now. Tyrant Guard might be in trouble. Plague Champ still in play. Look at him ripping through Termagants, man. But again, tie up the Hive Tyrant, my dude. Why is the Tyrant Guard not hitting the Predator when it's right next to it? And now the Predator is driving into the the Warrior Brood with a Forex Swarm, so it should get Electro Shock rubbed. The Hive Tyrant is shooting CPM right now. Oh my god, guys, what are you doing? Wake up! Fucking shooting CPM when the Predator's in his ass. Jesus. Wow. Here come Terminators. Predator's walking right into a Venom Cannon. Venom Cannon backs off for no apparent reason, now it kills the Predator. The predator doesn't react to the Venom Cannon. The Neuro did go down to the CPM. It's just gonna get replaced. Honestly, Sparky could have just got a Swarm Lord. How Sparky is not further up in VPs, I'm not entirely sure, but certainly this is a large factor in it. Why does he need both these units guarding this VP? Gene Steelers will be fine to deal with any Marines. Just send the Hormagons down to this natural constantly. Sparky should have been doing this for ages. Honestly, how Novice has, has pulled this one out for as long as he has is truly beyond me. I think Sparky has issues shutting games out. He's not quite sure how to shut the games out. Definitely with his early game advantage, not putting any pressure onto these farms was inexcusable. He had many opportunities and he could have could have ended this in tier one for sure. Scared man, scared of the plague marines, he doesn't want to fight him. But he could have just he could have just moved around the back and still put pressure on. So Terminators are gonna be very aggressive and teleport forward to dodge the paroxysm. I mean they force off the neurophrop, it's not terrible. Now they can get onto the mid. Sparky might want to rotate those gene sealers. That's a lot of melee DPS that he's not utilizing right now, and he really doesn't need both squads on the sidelines. Plus, he can see the CSM are here, so why? Why leave the Homers over there, too? Okay, he's blobbing up his army. We're gonna get one final fight. There's a Carnifex coming on route. But 
Man, there's only 13 VPs anyway. Yeah, Terminators are in way over their heads right now. Paroxysm dropped on them too. There is a Plague Marine here. A Plague Champion, sorry, but fuck me, the DPS is insane. I mean, look, you're fighting a whole army of melee nids with Paroxysm on top of you. You are more than screwed, brother. Yeah. CSM for no apparent reason are walking forward into melee. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. I love it. The Terminator is attacking the tower. <laughs> because that is the priority right now for this Terminator. To take out that tower. Well, you did it, lad. You did it. Thank you for donning the Terminator armor today. What an imposter. Who is this guy who somehow got Terminator armor? Fucking you know. Yeah. Chosen Plague Marines did absolutely amazing. Though they are now getting flipped around by Gene Sealers and wiped. But yeah, I think they were the MVP for Novice. But that is going to be that. What a, a crazy game. Uh, don't really have any more words than that, guys. <laughs> He's going for another four. Oh, brother. G, G indeed, brother. How the fuck? Sparky only has 29 VPs at the end of this. I don't know. Sparky, seriously, dude. You've got to work on hitting that natural. Because you were way ahead in terms of military power and combat. And unit numbers. You could have been on his natural all game long. Dang, there's no way you should have been down at 29 VPs, that's for sure. Anyway, folks, that's all from your boy topic this time. I am signing out.